The DJI Mavic 3 Classic has just been released with really good features like night video, like cruise control, and that C1 certification. But what about if you already own a DJI Mavic 3? Are you going to be left out by not getting those features? Well, luckily, no, a firmware update has just been released. It's a big update, and it's going to give you all of those features on your current DJI Mavic 3 including a firmware update, which gives this now that C1 certification too. So it's a big update. So I'm gonna go through really quickly some of the key things you get on this, and then you can go on updates and have really good fun flying this. But what are the main things? Well, this now is going to bring you cruise control. So you can go into the settings and then you can customize one of the buttons to activate cruise control. So on the back of here, I'm just gonna use the RC Pro as an example. You've got the C1 and C2 buttons. So just the same as on the other controllers and then you can customize one of these buttons to now activate cruise control. So then as you're flying your drone, you just press that button and then the drone will activate into cruise control and continue flying in whatever direction you've set it to. And I love cruise control, it is really good. You can still control the altitude, you can change the direction, you can change the gimbal direction as well, it is ace. And this works in both cine, normal and sports mode. Cruise control is now here for the Mavic 3, really good. And a new feature that Mavic 3 Classic had was night mode. Now this is really good. I've tested this in a few locations. And what this does is basically, it bumps the ISO to around about ISO 800 as a minimum. And it also is applying some kind of denoiser. So all of your night video or low light shots, you're not going to get hardly any noise at all. It's automatically all being done for you. And I'm really impressed with those results. That is now here for this firmware update on the DJI Mavic 3. And the telecamera has also had an update. So in this firmware update, it now supports position of interest and spotlight. So you can maximize the actual telecamera on the Mavic 3. That's a really good update as well. But what about if you're in Europe? So we've had this C1 certification on here. It's actually on the arm itself on the Mavic 3 Classic. And this is now going to be available on the Mavic 3. It's a part of the firmware in relation to a firmware update. So this is now going to be fully certified after you've updated this firmware. And this is a fantastic feature as well, I'm really happy about. And I think we all have Philip Bloom to thank for this. So well done, this is ace. If you cast your eye back a few years, we had tripod mode, and this allowed you to fly the drone really slowly and get fantastic, really slow cinematic shots. Since then we haven't, and then it was kind of like the minimum speed you had was five meters per second. Now what you can do, you can go into the gain controls and then you can slow this right down. So if we go into the settings here, and if we look at the cine mode, so that really slow cinematic mode we can move this right down now to one meters per second and this is fantastic so the gain and expo tuning is now completely customizable and you can turn this right down to get really smooth silky shots so again well done philip it also fixes a few other things like raw photos if you're having issues with some of the dng files it fixes that as well so but overall the main things are you're now going to be able to have cruise control night video that c1 certification on your mavic 3 and be able to change the gain and expo settings so you can slow the speed of the drone right down. It's a brilliant update. It's a big update. Go and update this and have a fantastic day. See you soon.